Hello everybody, and happy holidays. Um, it's December, no it's not, it's not December yet. It is, no, it's November 30th, it's almost December, it's November 30th, 2009, and I've been working on a lot of stuff lately. I've experimented with all kinds of crap. I've used two different fans to try to see if I could cool it with that. I've used, well, this fan puts out about a 110 cubic feet per minute, which is good. Um, this one is about 17, it's not that good. But uh, I used it in combination to, to see uh, what that would do. And I got mediocre results, to be honest with you. But recently, I've decided to try experiment with something else. As I said in my last video, I'm thinking about hooking up a radiator to this whole experiment. Uh, a lot of refrigerators, if you look in the back behind them, there's all these copper pipes and you never really know what they're for. Well, what those are, they're radiating heat out of your refrigerator. Um, what I'm doing is going to be doing is something similar to that. If I get a radiator out of a car or out of a window unit, like an air conditioning unit, any kind of air conditioning unit really, but I think the easiest and simplest would be a window unit type of thing. I could really, really cool this thing off really well. And I'm about to show you what I've done that proves that in just a second. Alright, so what I did here was I cut all the tops off of all of these heat pipes here. Um, I'm going to show you a link that explains what a heat pipe is in a heat sink. Um, but what I did was I completely destroyed the heat pipes to open them up so that I could pump water through them. I have this thing hooked up to my regular cold water in my sink. I'm piping it through this one. That spits it out here, and that will bring it here. That will spit it out here which feeds it through there, and then it drains through this, and I have this draining into my sink. As you can see, I'm pushing out, I have no idea how much water that is, but I'm pretty sure it's a good bit. And let me show you what this has done. I'm starting to get some frost on this cold sink down here, which is what I've been expecting and waiting for for a long time. It's frosting up quite nicely. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a quick temperature reading on it. And this says it's about 16, 17 degrees-ish, which is great. That's below freezing. That's enough to get some frost onto this cold sink. And that's exactly what's going on. I, once again, I have it hooked up to my DC power supply. And I think I'm pushing about 13 volts. Let me check. Yeah, about 13 volts is what I'm putting through it right now, uh, and it's it's nice and frosted. It's really cool. I finally figured out how I need to do this now. So uh, this took me a while to do. I had to remove some of the parts of some of these fins so I could access these, and then I cut off the tops of these with a hacksaw, and. Um, you got to really be careful with this because some heat pipes are pressurized and um, there's fluid inside them and there's a lot of really weird stuff inside of it that I found, but I got most of that out of the way. So I'm, I'm pumping uh, a good bit of water through this just to cool off this hot part right here. Of course, this is the hot part of my uh, assembly, as it has always been, and this is the cold side, and as you can see, it's frosting up nice, just really, really nicely. And that's exactly what I've been waiting for this whole time. And I've finally done it. I have finally done it. And I am very, very proud of this now. Now I'm going to go upload this and tell everybody how cool it is. 